I mean, literally, I got to experience a miracle of life. An amazing story for you now. A Wabash Valley student brought back from the dead. Uh, now he's back to school, all thanks to some life-saving equipment and some life-saving teachers. Here stands Dan Klein has this incredible story. It's a rhythm Daniel Walls may have taken for granted. The bouncing of a basketball, the beating of a heart but no longer. I'm happy I'm alive again. Yeah. Daniel was like any other eighth grader on the basketball team at Chauncey Rose Middle School when he collapsed in the middle of warm-ups. At first, it looked like a seizure. Then he stopped breathing, and so did his pulse. Nice hand to get to. So we just got him right here. Coach Doug Stagg says he didn't even think as he grabbed the automated defibrillator. If I never have to use it again, it'll be too soon. But am I glad it was here that day? I'm extremely glad it was here that day. It's the worst call a father could ever have. Daniel's father is the police officer assigned to Chauncey Rose. He says when he got to the gym, he saw the face of death on his boy and immediately started praying. God heard the cry of a father and answered that prayer because I saw just one thing after another that led me to believe from everyone's testimony um, that this was a miracle. This was a miracle of life. Daniel had to be shocked twice. Even so, just five days later, he was released from the hospital. Now, two weeks later, he's back to school full time. Doctors are calling it a sudden cardiac arrest, but still don't know what caused it. Daniel has never had any medical issues before. It blows my mind. It really does. It wasn't us as much as, you know, it's, it's, it's a miracle. God just uh, gave me a second chance at life. A life that won't be the same after experiencing a miracle. Reporting in Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Dan Klein, News 10. What a miracle. Dan Walls credits and thanks the school corporation for having the defibrillators so close. Meantime, doctors have surgically implanted a defibrillator into Daniel's chest. He will not be able to compete in contact sports, but he hopes to be able to run and lift weights in a few months. I have